Hi, this is Crypto Guy in South Africa. So today I'm going to be looking at uh, one of the wallets called Tron Watch. Um, last week I made a video where we looked at TronScan desktop version. So let's have a look at another wallet just to get an idea of the wallets we have available. So if you go to your Tron.network, you'll see there's a wallet tab. You can go down. There's a few wallets that you can choose from. What I'm going to be looking today is the Tron wallet desktop, which is Tron Watch. So all we've got to do there is download it. All right, and then when you go to this page, so this is where it's actually kept at GitHub, and then you can see the different versions. So it does provide um, for Linux as an example. I'm going to download the Windows one. And the download starts on the bottom left. Then we just got to wait for that download to finish. Okay, and then once the download is done, it will be here on the bottom left. So we can say show in folder. We can say extract. Then we'll get an extra folder here. And there's the actual setup file. So we run that. We'll start installing. And there we go. Now start it up. Let's go in the wallet. So we can go over here. All right, so we can create a wallet, a test wallet here. So let's create a test wallet and see how that looks. All right, so we're gonna say test. Well, it's created. Now we're gonna enter a password. submit and there we go now we've got our wallet and we can obviously create multiple wallets into this window so that's a nice little feature because most of the other ones you'd have to log in log out you can create as many but it seems that you can have more than one in the screen and then from here we can have wallets we can have tokens so we can see all the different tokens here obviously haven't received any token we can see voting quite interesting so let's see if we can find my candidate here and there we go. So we can actually see my camera also over here. We can also then see we've got settings. So let's go back to the wallet. Let's go over there. Let's have a look at if we can use this wallet, receive any um, TRX. So obviously to get receive, we've got an address. So we're going to copy that. Then what I'm going to do is go to TronScan. And I'm going to open a wallet that I already have some TRX in. We'll send it to there. Okay. So now we're not focusing on TransCam, but what is important is I need to go somewhere to be able to send TRX it, see that it goes through. So we're going to go send. There's the address that I copied. Let's send there to TRX to see how it goes. Say so send. Yes, I confirmed the transaction. Successful. Now, if we go back here, we click back there. We can see that I've already received two TRX. So that was quite fast. It was uh, pretty quick, um, if you think about it. So we've got two there. Then obviously we've got some extra functionality here. So let's see what's hidden over here. So we can back up a wallet, we can delete a wallet, we can rename a wallet. So backup feature, very good to have that if you want to call it that. So let's see, if you back up the wallet, you can see you got all the pass phrases that you can usually do, or you got a private key. So that's also another little interesting way of backing it up. So that's possible. It's always important to check that you can back up, restore before using the wallet fully. Then I can see there's an option also to freeze TRX. So let's say I uh, freeze one TRX. Confirm. Then I have one TRX that's frozen. 
actually a little arc on here showing that it's frozen. So it's pretty well set up or very friendly from a GUI perspective because here we can see what's received. I'm assuming outgoing will show an outgoing sign. That shows frozen. Let's have a look at how to vote now. So I'm assuming we click here, start voting. All right, and then we can see, and then you can choose which wallet you want to vote with. So that's pretty handy if you've got multiple wallets. So what I like about this application is you can have multiple wallets and you don't have to sign in and out and you can use it. So it looks pretty neat in that sense. Uh, what would be nice here is just to be able to search instead of scrolling down and looking for me. Uh, there we go, there I am. So let's cast one vote. Let's submit. Confirm. And there we go. Vote has been successful. Let's go back into the wallet. And there again, we, we can see an icon saying one vote has been done. Um, over here, we can see we can also broadcast some transactions, create raw transfer, create raw asset transfer, create raw freeze transaction. So it looks like a quite a nifty wallet in the sense that you know it's got packed with quite a bit of functionality. Um, it's in one screen. There's no multiple go in and out or multiple places. Let's see now if I have to send back one TRX. So let's go back to Transcan. Here's my address. Okay. Let's say for the recipient address, send one TRX. Send. Transaction successful. Okay, so there we go. We can send. So I received two TRX. I froze one. I voted with one. Then I'll send one. So if I go back here, you can see quite instantly I've already received it. So from a speed perspective on the Tron network, it's very fast, very impressive. Um, the wallet seems to be keeping up with the speeds. It's not like it's any latency. So from our side, I think there's a pretty decent desktop wallet if you want to keep something on your desktop.